Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin with a question. A question that's both pertinent and critical. Why does a country, renowned for its advocacy of free trade and globalization, attempt to hamstring other nations' technological ambitions? This is a topic we must address. The recent decision by the U.S. government to restrict the exports of NVIDIA and Advanced Micro Devices, AIMD, AI chips to select countries in the Middle East has raised eyebrows in the international tech community. It appears the claws of restriction, once dug deep into China, now extend their reach further. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now, let's begin. Let's first establish the gravity of this decision. NVIDIA's cutting. Edge A100 and Hone 100 chips, revolutionizing machine. Learning tasks are now restricted from export. A move that, although announced with a veneer of security concerns, seems motivated by a more strategic national competition. Interestingly, both NVIDIA and AMD have said these restrictions won't necessarily impact their bottom line. But what about the wider ramifications for global technology collaborations and advancements? Now, before we delve deeper, let's momentarily shift our focus eastward. China, often misconstrued in Western media, has been making leaps and bounds in the AI chip industry. Instead of folding under pressure, they have ingeniously responded to past restrictions with notable advancements. Last month, China made the decisive move to control exports of two vital elements, crucial for semiconductor manufacturing, gallium and germanium. This wasn't a mere rebuttal to the U.S. It's policies, but a strategic step towards ensuring self-sufficiency. The ongoing tussle between the U.S. and China in the tech domain is no secret. The rivalry initiated by the Trump administration's bold ban on selling chips to Huawei has only intensified. For long, the U.S. enjoyed a comfortable lead in this tech race. But recent studies suggest a potential shift in momentum. As per the Special Competitive Studies Project, CESP, China might soon surpass the U.S. In critical areas like 5D, AI, and microchip technology, especially between the pivotal years of 2025, 2030, but why the restrictions? Why create barriers in a world where collaborative efforts can accelerate technological advancements for humanity at large? The core reason seems to be an ingrained fear of losing dominance. The ongoing semiconductor race, rather than being purely about technological prowess, reflects a broader geopolitical battle for influence and control. Consider this, by curtailing China's access to top-tier AI chips, the U.S. is indirectly stymieing the progress of various advanced computing tasks like image and speech recognition, tasks that are not just commercially beneficial, but pivotal for a myriad of societal applications, from healthcare to environmental monitoring. The U.S. expansion of NVIDIA chip restrictions beyond China to the Middle East reveals an attempt to sculpt a new technological order. But can this approach truly halt the AI boom Beijing is experiencing? While the landscape of AI chip manufacturing and export faces challenges due to geopolitical tensions, there's an underlying narrative of resilience and innovation, particularly from China. Their achievements in the face of adversity are praiseworthy and offer a lesson. No amount of external pressure can halt a nation's drive if it's fueled by innovation and determination. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. When one thinks about the essence of technology, one might picture machines, wires, and codes. But in reality, at the heart of technological progress lies human ingenuity, resilience, and collaboration. It's an endeavor that thrives on shared knowledge, open exchanges, and the amalgamation of diverse perspectives. This very spirit seems to be at stake today. The decision by the U.S. to limit the export of sophisticated AI chips isn't just a logistical move. It's symbolic. 
It represents a paradigm where knowledge is gated, where progress is measured, and where fear of competition trumps collaborative growth. This isn't just about NVIDIA or AMD. It's about a broader attempt to curate a technological narrative, a narrative where the U.S. remains the storyteller. While national security is often cited as the underlying reason for such restrictions, one can't help but question the actual motive. Is it genuinely about security or more about securing a hegemonic position in the tech world? In contrast, China's journey is worth noting. Facing restrictions, bans, and sanctions, China could have retreated. Instead, they chose to innovate, adapt, and surge forward. They have managed not just to survive but thrive in the face of adversity. Their strategy is multifaceted. By placing export controls on elements like gallium and germanium, they aren't just reacting to external pressure. They're strategically bolstering their tech ecosystem. They are ensuring that their growth isn't just rapid, but also sustainable. But also sustainable. By doing so, China is laying the foundation of a tech empire built on self-reliance and innovation. But more than these tangible steps, it's the intangibles that impress. The resilience, the tenacity, and the unwavering commitment to progress. These are qualities that can't be restricted, banned, or sanctioned. These are the qualities that will determine the trajectory of the A race. Beyond the U.S. and China, the reverberations of this tech standoff are felt globally. Other nations are forced to pick sides or navigate this tense landscape carefully. They must decide whether to align with the restricting forces or champion open collaboration. For emerging economies and developing nations, this conflict poses a dilemma: access to cutting-edge technology. Can shape their future, propel them forward, and help them tackle pressing challenges. Will they have to sacrifice technological empowerment at the altar of geopolitical dynamics? As we stand at this crossroads, it's essential to remember what's truly at stake: the spirit of innovation. The world thrives when knowledge flows freely, when collaboration bridges gaps, and when progress isn't bound by borders. One can only hope that, in the near future, The world will choose collaboration over competition, unity over division. Let's dream of a world where technology is the great equalizer, not another tool of division. To end, let me pose another question, one that we all must reflect upon: In our pursuit of technological supremacy, are we inadvertently stifling the very essence of innovation, collaboration? Thank you for your attention. And I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video, and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.